The exhibition Liberty and Europe, a construction for all, organized by the Portuguese presidency of the Council of the European Union, puts into dialogue two important art collections, the Portuguese State Contemporary Art Collection and the European Parliament Collection. Presented in the European Parliament in Brussels, the exhibition includes a set of works by different artists and genres, also providing an overview of the main characteristics of contemporary Portuguese art. The title that guided the selection evokes two structural values of European construction. The idea of freedom, whether of expression, circulation or affirmation of human dignity, and the idea of a Europe based on the primacy of these same values. Most of the artists represented in this exhibition, which include Maria Helena Vieira da Silva, Paul Rigaud, Lourdes Castro, Nikias Kapinakis, Joaquim Rodrigo, Juliao Sarmento and Helena Almeida, Almeida defended an idea of Europe, be it in the different stages of their artistic formation or in the awareness of the physical and cultural proximity of these peoples that define the European mosaic. The works, dated mostly from the 60s, 70s and 80s of the 20th century, give proof of this attentive reading on the value of freedom in building a Europe that structures and helps to define our future. For this reason also, the selection of artists represents a tribute to those who were deprived of European modernity and its values, but who never stopped believing in a more free and shared future. With this careful selection, it was his intention to boost social interaction through the aesthetic dimension, remembering that the exhibitions, especially those of contemporary art, promote moments of discussion and public debate in interaction with the artistic proposals. Around a set of 20 objects belonging in equal parts to the collection of the European Parliament and to the collection of contemporary art of the Portuguese state, the curatorship defined a game of aesthetic, reflective and emotional combination whose apparatus is itself the result of the freedom that defines its action in the European space in which we live. In this way, it is possible to observe how the freedom of each one always implies the freedom of all, demanding our defense every day, but also its conscious and responsible use. Only in this way, according to David Santos, can we continue to build a Europe of values free and in solidarity. Among the patented pieces, there are two works on paper by Helena Almeida, one of the most international um, renowned Portuguese artists. The large painting by Eduardo Batarda, the monochromatic minimalism of the famous Angelo de Sousa, the huge canvas by Victor Pomar, and the work representative of multidisciplinary artist Juliao Sarmento. In sculpture, Rui Chafes, Rui Sanchez and José de Guimarães also represent pieces from the 80s and 90s, which are a testament to his unique and personal style. In addition to the works of the Contemporary Art Collection of the European Parliament, a set of works from the Contemporary Art Collection of the Portuguese state was selected, with emphasis on Fernando Calau, Lourdes Castro, Jorge Martins, Pedro Calapes, Paula Rigo, and Joaquim Rodrigo. Thus, the theme of the exhibition is articulated around the idea of freedom, seen as a duty and a responsibility shared by all the countries that make up the EU. Manifest examples of this are the letters of the word, liber word Liberdade, which hang from the branches of a tree in the painting with the same name as uh, Vieira da Silva, while Enlevo de Miss Europa by Nikias Kapinakis evokes the myth of abduction of the Phoenician princess. That was just a different approach this time, but I think these are things in between are something nice for a change. So, so I will put them in from time to time. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.